President Obama seemed to suggest something that was uh, fairly uncontroversial during the State of the Union. Uh, we should try to give every kid uh, some preschool education. Now, you might say we well, might not have a budget for it, and we'd love to do it, but we can't. That's a fair argument. It's but, actually not. Okay, you know, and look, look you, and you say hey, that's not a fair argument, it's a bad argument, well, I got you, but, but at least it's, you're within sure. the realm of conversation, and then conservatives sure. can say, we don't have the money for that. Yeah, I mean, it's very valuable, but we don't have the money. I mean, nobody thinks that it's not valuable. Right. It's very foolish to think that because, of course, the more earlier you start educating people, the less likely they are to drop out. It is literally an investment that is guaranteed to pay off in the future. But I get it. They don't want any part of that. So we go to Fox News, who apparently can argue with it. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Varney with a gem here. I read somewhere that with this high-quality preschool for every four-year-old in America, it would cost $10,000 per kid per year. It's a repeat performance of his campaign, mm -hmm. which is you raise taxes on the rich and you offer all kinds of free stuff to people who will vote for you in the future. Right. This is one of those occasions. Free preschool education for four-year-olds. It's free. Here it is. Sure. Hand out the goodies. What the president's really doing here, because he's not saying how he's going to pay for this, mm -hmm. he's buying votes with future taxpayer money. Yeah, he can't run again, Stuart. First of all, I don't know whether he's aware of that. <laughs> yeah, no, this is these are bad guys. Yeah, Stuart Varney is a bad dude. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want your kid to get a preschool education. He doesn't. And the thing is, is Stuart's he wants his kid to he exactly. Could, he's got no problem with that. He'd pay for it. I'm sure. Yeah, his kids. he's like my kids are supposed to have that advantage. They're supposed to have the advantage over your kids. Now you want to level the playing field and you want to hand out this goodie to what everybody? to poor people, to middle class people, and they get the same education as my kids? Also, just before we let Steve Ducey off the hook with his, by the way, Steve Ducey's favorite, I read somewhere, something <laughs> that said it cost $10 billion a year per child to give them a preschool. <laughs> and like, I don't know anything about it. There's no way it costs $10,000 a year per child to give preschool education. And here's where Steve Ducey read that, in a memo written to him by Fox executives who said, go ahead and kill this program. Okay. Same place that uh, the conservative blogs found the friend from, friends that found that Chuck Hagel had gotten support from friends of Hamas, which doesn't exist. <laughs> exactly. So, and, and that's why it's a joke that they're called a news organization. So uh, now Steve Ducey is going to come back in with more brilliant points here. Let's watch. You know, he makes it sound like if we can just get this done, then kids will wind up uh, having better lives, be smarter, and we'll have a better economy. But I have read that uh, <laughs> preschool is not effective after the third grade. It helps you kindergarten first, yep. second, third, but then the there's a gigantic <laughs> diminishment of the effectiveness. Well, yeah. Hey, Steve, I'm 45 years old. I don't remember shit that I learned in preschool. Great point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally diminished by now. Yeah. No, I love, you're such a great point, Ben. On. I have read. <laughs> I've read. Where <laughs> did you read that? You read an internal Fox memo. And by the way, when we prepare this show, we got all these graphs, we got all these charts, etc. So if you read it somewhere, Steve, well, wouldn't that be amazing to show to your audience, hey, look at what happens here. You might think that the benefits continue, but they don't. And you see, that would be amazing if you showed us that. It doesn't exist. That's why you can't show it to us. In fact, let me read you a quote, uh, a quick list of benefits if your kids don't go to preschool they're 25 percent more likely to drop out of school 40 percent more likely to become a teen parent 50 percent more likely to be placed in special education 60 percent more likely never to attend college 70 percent more likely to be arrested for a violent crime all now those are all things that you would imagine you don't want all those things have expense uh, every almost every one of those things results in an expense for taxpayers right and so, now look, that's a Center for American Progress uh, report and, and, and... Cut all those numbers in half. Okay, Whatever. And, and they're a progressive group, and we're giving you the numbers, we're giving you the source, so you can look at it for yourself. Okay, now, that's not, I read it somewhere, no. okay, and without any backup, etc. But look, it's common sense. Does anyone really believe that preschool doesn't help the kids a significant amount, and that if that anybody believe this insane theory that Steve Ducey has, that it helps in first, second, third grade, and all of a sudden, gone. No, you're just as more likely to go to uh, jail, you're more likely to get teen pregnant, et cetera. It, the effect magically evaporates after third grade. Wouldn't the shit you learned in third grade help you in fourth grade? <laughs> I mean, isn't that how you sort of move on? 